Welcome back. Now, it appears that Britain's small businesses are choosing new digital challenges over well-established traditional suppliers. New research has revealed that SMEs prefer to advertise online, transact with challenger banks and set themselves up in flexible rental spaces. With me now is Adrian Blair. He's chief executive of the digital bookkeeping platform Receipt Bank, who are behind the research. Adrian, welcome to you. Are you surprised you. by these findings? I'm actually not particularly surprised in the sense that we, we know from our own behaviour people are spending a lot more time online, if you think about products like Facebook and Google and LinkedIn. So what's great to see, what's really encouraging, is that Britain's small businesses are catching up with that trend and increasingly using digital products to promote their own services. So Facebook is actually the most, uh, the most popular among small businesses of all different digital advertising channels. And they're spending £23,000 a year per small business across these different digital advertising products, which, you know, if you think we're talking about here, plumbers, uh, beauticians, takeaway restaurant owners, £23,000 a year is, is a serious amount of money. Indeed, big, big sum. I mean, the, the banking thing really uh, jumped out at me. I mean, yeah. RBS, are obviously, or now West, are obviously the UK's biggest small business yeah. lender. Lloyd's obviously big in this market. Mm. Yeah, Metro Bank and Revolut seem to be... Uh, yeah, we see, them, we see them taking a lot of shares. So, so Metro Bank... Three years ago was the fastest growing in the UK among small business owners. Uh, two years ago, it was Revolut. And actually, we saw a bit of a comeback uh, in 2019 from Santander, who were the fastest growing in 2019. So I think what we're seeing in banking is the competition is really hotting up. You know, with open banking, a lot of people now are going after providing fintech kind of, kind of services to small businesses. And we're seeing we're seeing quite a volatile picture when when it comes to banks and uh, which ones small businesses are choosing. Yeah, now you've crunched the numbers for a number of other countries mm. as well. How, how do UK SMEs compare and contrast with the likes of the US? And yeah, so so the way we do this at Receipt Bank, we're, we're um, the biggest digital bookkeeping service in the world. We operate across uh, the UK as our biggest market, but we're also uh, in Australia, the US, France, South Africa, and we compare SMB spending, small business spending across all those markets. What we see is UK small businesses are at the cutting edge of a lot of things. So when it comes to adoption of digital services, adoption of challenger banks, and overall spending through the Receipt Bank platform, UK small businesses are actually ahead of the others. But we see other markets, particularly France, actually catching up um, quite rapidly. Okay. Well, very briefly, Adrian, you've just raised £55 million pounds from investors. Is yeah. the stock market flotation on the horizon <laughs> at some point? <laughs> Look, it, 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 we've got a lot of work to do. I mean, we, we serve about 360,000 small business customers today. That's a lot, but, it, but there are many, many millions in the markets where we operate. We're helping them to get on top of their cash flow, save time on admin, uh, take advantage of all the tax deductions that are open to them. And we just want to do that for millions of small right. businesses. Good to see you, Adrian Blair, thanks.